a lot of people were trying to use Microsoft Edge browser with Design Space in Windows 10. And they think that it's Internet Explorer, but it is not. Microsoft uh, is in the process of replacing Internet Explorer with a new browser called Edge. And Edge is not a supported browser for Design Space according to the Cricut requirements for Design Space. Now, I know a lot of people will say they use Edge without any problems, and if you do, good for you. But there are some issues in specific areas that tend to crop up for folks. And I uh, just want to show you examples of those and show you why you should not be using Microsoft Edge. If you're on Windows, you should be using Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. So down here in the bottom left-hand corner in Windows 10, you get this E that looks like the Internet Explorer icon, or maybe it looks like a new version of it. And when you open it and you open Design Space, you'll see some distinct features where these buttons, the navigation buttons and refresh buttons, are a little bit larger. And they're kind of designed a little bit more look to look like a tablet than a Windows operating system. And then over here on the right, you have this button, the share button with the, the circle with the three little circles on it. And those are uh, key features of Microsoft Edge. So uh, down here on your uh, search bar uh, at the bottom, most Windows 10 systems will have a field down here that you can search in that may also include Cortana, their search assistant. But I have mine turned off to where it's just an icon. So when I click on that, you get the search window. If you have the search field, you can just type in it. And if you type Internet, Ex Internet Explorer, it will come up, and you will see that you do still have Internet Explorer on Windows 10, and the icon looks a little bit different. Now, if you want to use that, you can right-click on it and click Pin to Taskbar. And I've already pinned mine, so I have Edge, Firefox, Chrome, and Internet Explorer down here at the bottom. And like I said, you can see that the icon is still a little bit different from Edge. Now, the issues that you're going to see if you try to use Microsoft Edge, two of the big issues I see out there people are having are, uh, one is related to print, then cut. And so when I insert a, an object, and we'll just change that to print to show you an example. And when I click go, and you click print page, you get this black print dialog box that says flash modern browser print. So if you're getting this black box, that means you are in Microsoft Edge, and a lot of times people get this message that says we cannot reach your printer, and it causes a lot of printing problems. The next problem a lot of people are seeing, and this is a screenshot. I'm not actually having this problem, so I could show a real example because uh, I don't know if it is specific video drivers or something like that that conflicts with Edge and Flash, but when you go to the cut screen, I borrowed this from someone's post on the Cricut group, and when you go to the cut screen, you will see all this kind of psychedelic flashes and things going around the screen. And that is also an indication that it is Microsoft Edge. And uh, this is another known issue. So, again, if you're using Microsoft Edge, you need to switch to Internet Explorer, Chrome, or Firefox in Windows to use a supported browser. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video. You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.